God bless you in the name of Jesus. I'm excited to, to bring you this word. I mean, it ministered to me powerfully. And I didn't just think it was okay for it to just be a long video. Many people would not be able to watch. So I had to, I felt led in my spirit to compress this into this short video so that as, as many people as possible would be able to watch and connect themselves to this and, 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 and believe God for what he has said in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you. If this is the first time you're coming across this channel, please check to see if you're already subscribed. If not, do us the honor of subscribing so that when God is giving out prophetic words, you will not miss out. I always say you never know when God is giving you or when God will be giving you a direct message. You don't want to miss it. Hallelujah. This is your true story and they will be shocked to hear that. This is what happened to you. They will be shocked to hear. They will be shocked to hear. Earlier in our live session today, God gave us a prophetic word and we were praying and believing God for it. And I, like I said, after the live session, I decided to do this video because I, I, was, I, I felt led in my spirit to do a shorter video because the live session lasted about 50 minutes or let's say yes, about 48 minutes. So I was led in my spirit to do this short video where I can compress all these informations in and someone can still just listen to this and get as blessed as probably they would, you know, you know, the live session has a different kind of anointing and everything. But I am believing that if God is leading me to do this here with a shorter video is because he wants to reach someone that might not have the patience to go through that long live session. And this is your own atmosphere. This is your own opportunity to connect to the anointing of God in this word that has been released and receive your own testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. God is creating an atmosphere for someone. God is creating in the live session. God was talking to us about defeating every known protocol, every known rule, every known obstacle that people have already made excuses for. You know, uh, um, we make excuses. You know, there is already a pattern in which things are done. There is already a pattern. We say you have to go through this and go through this and go through this before you can have this result. You have to take this route and this route and this route before you can have a particular result. But in that live session, God was telling us it is possible for you not to go through all that pain. It is possible for you to have an exception. And we saw it in the life of Jacob. The father wanted to bless Esau because he thought he was deserving of the blessing. And he told him, go make for me garrison. Let me eat and my soul will bless you. Why Esau went to the field to look for Gerizim to prepare for his father, Rebecca heard about it and, and cut corners and prepared something, gave it to Jacob and, 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 and Jacob took to his father and his father said to him, I know that normally you should not be able to have this at this time. It should take a while before you can have this result. How were you able to get it this early? How are you able to achieve this, this soon? And I like the answer of Jacob. He said, the Lord your God put it on my part. I know, I, I know people would say I don't deserve this blessing I'm about to get. I know people would say I don't deserve what is coming to me right now. But the Lord your God put it on my part. And God says, someone that is about to be your story. Your life is about to experience a dramatic turn. And people would try to question you, like, how is this possible? How are you able to live from someone who was in debt to becoming a millionaire in dollars, a billionaire in dollars? And you would say, the Lord, my God, put it on my path. Grace is my story. How are you able to live from staying in your car to having a mansion in the choicest part of the city and you would tell them the lord my god 
put it on my part. Grace is my story. I know that I do not really deserve this. I know it has not taken as much time at, as others go through. But grace is my story. That is why the Lord my God put it on, on my part. And we saw the same thing happening to the to the to the to the girls of the meat of the of the of the Midian priest where Moses later got married into. When they normally go to the field to feed their flocks, they are going to encounter resistance from the shepherd. And their father had already made allowance. He knew normally maybe it would take four hours for them to be able to get water to water their flocks and everything. But this time around, when they came and they met resistance from the shepherds, Moses was there to fight with the shepherds and help them get water to feed and water their flock. And when they went back home, maybe just under one hour, and their father was like, how is this possible? Naturally, I know you should encounter resistance. Naturally, I know there are obstacles that should be on your part to get in this. How were you able to do it so early? And they said, an Egyptian fought for us and got us to this place. The whole essence of this word is that naturally there is a way things are supposed to be done. Naturally, there is a path, a route things are supposed to take. But God is creating an exception for you. God is making you an exception of the role so much so that people will begin to ask you how are you able to achieve this in such a short time and you tell them you will tell them the lord my god put it on my path because grace is my story the lord my god put it on my path because grace is my story i pray for everyone under the sound of my voice i pray for you May God break every known rule and every known protocol. May he put what people are scrambling to get. May God put it on your path by his grace in the mighty name of Jesus. Where What people are fighting to have. May God put it on your path by his grace. You know what grace is right? Unmerited favor. You might not really deserve this. And people watching you, people who know you, might actually attest to the fact that you do not deserve this. But God is putting it on your path by grace. In the mighty name of Jesus, God is putting it on your path by grace. In the mighty name of Jesus, I need you to connect yourself to this prophetic word connect yourself to this prophetic prayer write it in the comment section say the lord my god will put it on my part grace is my story the lord my god will put it on my part grace is my story as you make this confession as you connect yourself to it you are going to testify of the grace of god in the mighty name of Jesus, may the Lord bless you, keep you, cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. Grace is your story.